Hey guys, here's the latest build I've done here at the shop. Um, it's an X99. It's been a while since I've really been posting any any videos, so I figured figured this one was worth its own YouTube video, um, just because it's a fairly fairly powerful system. I'm gonna def definitely get some work done for them. Um, it's not for gaming; it's just for uh, photo and video editing, most likely. Um, but it's the X99. It's got a 5820K in there. Um, I did overclock it to 4 gigahertz with that Noctua NH-U12S on there. Um, they didn't even want any overclocking, but I mean, that's anything will do that. So I figured why not? Um, it's the X99 Deluxe that everything's running off of. Um, I've used a couple of them. Great boards, love them, and the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well. Um, the graphics card is the Gigabyte, the WinForce GTX 980. Um, it's not the gaming edition. It doesn't have the light up uh, WinForce logo or anything. It's more plain, but really there really isn't much difference um, besides maybe a, a little factory overclock or something. Um, but saved a few bucks there. Um, the power supply is the EVGA, the 850GQ. Um, it's a gold power supply. It's almost fully modular um, just the main ATX power connector is actually not modular everything else is with nice uh, black and flat cables um, I always prefer prefer the nice black and flat cables just love the look of them um, and 850 is more than enough um, there is a Samsung 850 Evo the 512 gig model um, that's just one of the storage drives and you can see it was flipped around from the way I'm assuming it's intended to be. I just kind of squeezed the SATA cable and the power cable between the other end and the fan. A little tricky but I got it to work that way you didn't see the the cables on the other side. Um, that right there is the Samsung 950 Pro um, 512 gig model as well. Um, doing some initial benchmarks on that guy. It was about 2500 megabytes read and pushing just about 1600 megabytes on the right side. Um, so she's definitely cruising and very, very tiny. And I got another X99 here that'll be getting the same drive. And I probably will too. Um, and then we're just kind of doing a little different camera shot on the case there um, I love it I think it looks great they didn't want any special case it's just a, a Corsair Carbide 200R um, they didn't even want a side window um, so I mean I figured this fit the bill pretty well um, all the fan holes or the fan mounts have rubber grommets on them for vibration and then in the front we have the blu-ray burner um, they just requested a reader, but the burner was the same price, so might as well. And there's some more intake vents and then the, the Corsair logo there. Um, but I suppose, I mean, that should pretty much cover it. Um, oh, I did miss one thing. Uh, the RAM is the Corsair Vengeance LPX. Um, it's a 16 gig kit, and it is 3,000 megahertz. Um, probably a little more than what was really needed, but for the just a few dollar increase in price it's like why not get it um, so they ended up with that as well um, hopefully they enjoy it thanks for watching